Всем привет, товарищи! Это Эл Карлофф, здесь, с эпизодом 14 Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, everyone. И в прошлом эпизоде мы сделали Бентли миссию и Мурри миссию, которая involved us going to pick up penguins and also get something out of them. I think it was called a gravity inbinculator. I don't know what the hell. Also, we played a Bentley mission and we had to traverse through caves and go spelunking a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, in this episode, I'm going to start off by buying something off a of thief net. I have 1,500 coins, and I was thinking about buying something for either Sly or Bentley, or maybe even Murray. I'm, I'm thinking either Murray I'm going to buy something for. So, I was thinking about getting the Juggernaut throw. It turns any thrown item from Murray into an explosive. That's really awesome. Clothesline... Oh, to steer. Oh, that's awesome, too. Let's see. Mega charge. Run while... Ch I'm gonna do something with Sly here. Let's see. Run while charging. To run while charging. Nah, that's kind of gay. Well, that's not gay. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get the meter recharger, because that's really useful. Um, But we're gonna go and do dirt duty calls with Sly Cooper. It's our next mission. But first off, I want to go explore this entire area and try to get all the clue bottles real quick. And also, there's a mask that I've been tr sort of putting off, like procrastinating. Oh my god, I can't talk. Procrastinating on. It's right behind my safe house here. So I'm going to go pick that up real quick. And then when we will commence this episode, once I get that done. But let's go up here. <clears throat> and go here too. And, oh my god, that pterodactyl scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually gonna go on this mushroom or whatever. But, um, I think we're almost done actually with this entire world because there's not really much to left to do in this world because I think I did about eight missions already. And let me go get this mask. Oh wow, and duty calls is right there. Um, so where is this? Where's that clue bottle at? I was here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna get this one real quick. We're up to 12, and basically, also, guys, what I wanted to do, I think I'm going to do one episode in this game when I just do Clue Bottle, like, collecting, but that's going to come later on. I think once I defeat this final guy, um, of course, his name is, uh, Grizz, I'm going to defeat him, then after that, I'm going to do an episode when I go back to all the other episodes and get all the bottles and stuff, but, um, let's enter this cutscene here. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, it looks like there was a collectible right behind that tree back there, but I'm not gonna um be able to get that right now. So I'm gonna have to wait till a little bit later. Um. Oh God. Where am I gonna go here? I could just kill this. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this enemy real quick. Here we go. <laughs> and I love how the Grizz is sort of rapping. <laughs> That's really awesome. Oh, son of a bitch. Ugh, God damn it, I forgot to press square instead of circle. I'm such a dumbass. Alright, let's go over here. Sprint up here. We're gonna kill this enemy. Okay, now let me wait for him to walk underneath this dinosaur bone here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so let's wait for this enemy to turn around and hit him up and kill him right there. There we go. Alright. Oh, god damn it, this message is coming up again. Yeah, because on my last recording session, which was like four hours ago, I got a message that my computer was going to restart and I just got it again. Alright, so there we go. I am recording this on Thursday at like 7 o'clock at night. Oh shit. Oh god, how am I gonna get out of here? Alright, let's wait. Oh, he's talking about us. <laughs> I love this guy's voice that's doing the voiceover for the Grizz. Catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to La Paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. Okay, so it looks like he's talking to the main boss in this game, which is La Paradox, of course. The French guy. And, um, I'm not really sure how this is gonna play out, because 
how the hell is he first off getting cell phone reception in prehistoric times? <laughs> that makes no sense absolutely at all, but who cares? Um, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I almost lost a bastard. Okay, let's go over here. Alright. Now we're gonna make our way up here. Man, this is an awesome... I love this mission. It's kind of like the following Dimitri mission from Sly 2, in a way. Okay, I'm gonna go on this tusk. Why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? <laughs> yeah, I don't want Dimitri calling me. It's a little crazy. Okay, let's climb up here. Make our way over here. And hopefully this episode doesn't take long to upload and render. Because rendering these Sly episodes takes about an hour or two. And that's really why it takes me a long time to get these episodes up. Unfortunately. Um, but I am using my laptop to render. Mainly because I made the introduction in Sony Vegas 11. And I don't have 11 on my la on my new computer. I have Sony Vegas 12 on there, so it's not compatible. Um, so yeah, but I promise you my Far Cry Let's Play, which is coming up after this game, is going to be on my new computer, so I could get episodes up really fast, which is going to be really great, so yeah. Man, look at- I love the, uh, Northern Lights, I guess you would say, in this game. It's really cool. Just like John Bassan's level from Slide 2. Oh shit, I almost got caught. That was a really close move. <laughs> Man, this is a long mission, that's for sure. Oh, clue bottle time, too. That's really nice. I'm gonna wait for him to move up a little bit so I don't make a sound here. There we go. Let's go on top of here. <laughs> Alright, gotta wait for him to move up a little bit. Poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. Okay, so it looks like Bentley's trying to get into his phone records or something. And I'm sorry I'm quiet, guys. I'm just trying to listen to the story as well. Oh shit, he almost looked at me. Damn bastard. <laughs> but yeah, out of all the enemies so far, I think the Grizz is my favorite because he's not he's kinda not like a dick. He was just like an artist that went got all pissed off. Oh god. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like I was saying, he's kinda like an artist that went bad, I guess. I kinda feel sorry for him. Alright, sorry if you hear background noise too. Okay, let's wait for this guy to walk over here. So Alright, get away from the walk past this, these two uh, flashlight guards here. Alright. God damn, he's really running. What the hell is he running from? Did I scare him or something? Okay, I'm gonna make my way over here. God damn, is this guy running? For a fat ass, he really moves. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, f god damn, I almost got caught. Let's sprint up to him over here. Okay, hopefully this is the end of the mission, because this is taking a long time. Where the hell is this guy going? Shit, is he running fast? Looks like he's going up here. Here we go. Cutscene time. Now let me tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. <laughs> you got that play up. Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Damn! <laughs> Pretty pissed. <coughs> no, I was so close. I guess that means you didn't get the code. It does. Looks like we're back to square one. Oh God. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's 
good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been tailing Grizz on my own. And I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Damn. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you are not exactly trustworthy, are you? <laughs> Ouch. So, we're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. <laughs> Alright, everyone, we got the job complete with Sly Cooper. Looks like we made it, or it looks like Carmelita has been stalking him the whole time, pretty much. Which is sort of a good thing for us, because we don't have to do any more work in this mission here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go back to the safe house and do another mission. Then I'm going to go and collect some clue bottles and explore, finally. Um, but hopefully the next mission doesn't take a long time. This episode might be 37 minutes long or something like that. Cutscene time, guys. I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, mm -hmm. but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. <laughs> But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in the paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars. Damn. It's a hell of a bazooka. <laughs> Took out that rock pretty easily. Alright guys, we're going to go and do Operation Jurassic Th Thievery. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, so I think this is going to be the final operation in this level. So, looks like we might actually end this in this episode t um, today. So this might be the final episode, guys. I'm not sure though, but you guys will probably know because... Um, it's the future when, by the time this gets uploaded, so yeah. Okay, so, Slinus Cooper Ancestors. I still didn't even try that yet by doing square and triangle, but... Let's go and do Operation Jurassic Theory. Which is right about over here, right in front of this guy. Okay, enter the cutscene. Or slideshow. Alright, the time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum. <clears throat> Not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. Damn. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg bats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled, and we can do a little bear hunting. <laughs> Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice. Alright, everyone. Sounds pretty good. Let's go over here and go to um, <clears throat> the distribution area, which is basically like the conveyor belt area. With all the eggs and stuff, so I'm gonna take out this guard. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh wow, that's a giant G. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Made out of ice too, so that's cool. All right, looks like that's a. Oh, how am I supposed to get this? Oh, son of a bitch. 
Alright, there we go. I'm sacrificing myself for that clue bottle. <laughs> but it was well worth it, so that's good. Alright, so is there any health? Oh, there's health. Thank God. Okay, now where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm supposed to go up. Okay. Alright, so let me climb my way up this pole here. Hopefully this will lead me up. Yes. Okay, so that's good. Alright, everyone. Let's go do the first part of the job here. <clears throat> Oh, I had to open up that door. Whoops. Okay, looks like this is his base. Okay, this is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something sitting in that other car. <laughs> Don't worry, Ringtail. I have my shock pistol to keep me warm. <laughs> all right, guys. Looks like we're going to be using that probably. Okay, as Bentley, press an old... Yeah, I already know that. I don't know why the hell I keep reading those. <laughs> I already know everything that's in this game, pretty much. Well, not everything, but, like, the moves and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm really interested in what's gonna happen up here with the Grizz. Um, probably gonna be another boss battle in this episode. But, yeah, we will find out in the future here. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow and Friday, I'm planning to upload a few videos because I'm off school, of course, so... A lot of Sly Cooper videos up tomorrow. Got the Purple Paul Paint Factory. Say that 12 times. <laughs> but, um, looks like we're in his painting factory here. Where he does all the egg stuff. This is my stop. I need to destroy those eggs <clears throat> and then make my way to the rendezvous point. Keep your communication channel open. I'll see you all later. Okay, Bentley. Just watch your step. Always, Sly. Always. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to... Dodge these little fireball things here. Okay, I'm gonna get this. There we go. And also, I'm gonna place a bomb on this enemy. I should have pickpocketed him first, though. My bad. Yeah, let me actually pickpocket him. Alright, and we are going to get the lava rock spearhead, which is only worth 100. So it's not that much of a deal, I guess. And wait one second. Hold on, let me go to L2. I don't want sleep ammo. I want explosives. I'm gonna kill these bastards, not put them to sleep. Okay, there we go. Got them killed. It looks like we're gonna have... Oh, shit. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's stir one right there. Hopefully this will work. Yep. Okay, so we're mainly just taking out these wooden platforms over here. And I love the lighting, how you hold a bomb and it just, like, uh, it lights up the area green. That's really cool. Okay, let me take this crate. Let's get this next one. There we go. Now I'm gonna have to wait for this to, uh, shoot up real quick so I can get some leverage up here. There we go. Oh, son of a bitch. Let's wait for it again. Come on, buddy, hurry up. Okay, let's make the jump. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. Okay, I could do this now. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. God damn, I almost missed that. Yes, okay, perfect. Only got one more left. Okay, so we got it there. Perfect. Take out these crates. Make our way into the cage or whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, the egg vat. Okay, that's what it's called. There we go. I'm gonna place a bomb on that enemy. Oh, God. This does not look good. God damn, I might actually die here. Ow. Shit. Oh my god, how many hits does it take? Shit, that took a lot of hits. Alright guys, I'm actually almost dead here. <laughs> so I better not F up again. Hopefully I can find some health up here. Oh, so I'm gonna have to shoot these. 
All right, so we got that. Let's wait for it to go around again. There we go. Perfect. All right, that was really simple. Make our way across the bridge. Hopefully, I can find some health up here. And we're actually halfway done almost with the clue bottles in this mission, so that's good. Got almost 15. Now, let's make our way over here. And let me pickpocket this enemy real quick because he has a valuable on him. So, there we go. And we are going to get this time another Lava Rock Spearhead, which is disappointing. So, this guy needs to go because he didn't give me something worth a lot of money. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I might actually die. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. All right. Hurry up and run away because I cannot die. That'd be very bad. Is he still following me? No, I don't think he is. No, he's not. Okay, good. Okay, so let me equip my sleeping ammo, and then I'm going to take this guy out real quick. Just like that. Okay, and now we should be able to kill him. There we go. Finally. Oh, I guess not. Okay, so I'm not going to screw with him because <laughs> I really don't want to freaking die now. That would really suck. But we are going to go into the hacking terminal. I, th I think this is a hacking terminal. Pretty, Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this. Got another one of these um, controller things. Okay, hopefully I don't screw it up. Yes, perfect. Adding some time on as well. We go. Oh god. Almost got stuck there and almost got killed. There we go. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Okay, so we lit up the terminal here. We got it all complete. Now this is going to be open for us to complete this mission. And Oh, I didn't know. I didn't even know that Murray can do that. Oh yeah, he does sort of like a spin attack. Yeah, I actually remember that. Okay. Okay, everyone. So we got that done. Let's see what we have to do next. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing as Carmelita soon. Oh, God. That's big. <laughs> Damn, we have to go all over the place. Okay, so let's go in here. Oh, I see how this goes. This is really easy. Here we go. I swear, Bentley has the, the coolest wheelchair ever invented. I mean, if I was ever a paraplegic, <laughs> hopefully I'm not. I'm just saying I would want Bentley's wheelchair because it's a badass wheelchair. Oh, and our health is full too. That's a nice feature. <laughs> All right. Destroy the egg vault again. Oh. Whoops, I'm not actually using the explosive ammo. There we go. I love that feature, how you could change stuff, too. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to just keep shooting this until it all goes away. There we go. Oh, God, Bentley. Okay, it looks like we're going to use Bob here to climb up here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yes, it is a dangerous climb, but if anyone can do it, you can. <laughs> right, see you at the top. Good luck. Okay, guys, let's do this. Hopefully, I don't walk in the fire like I did last time. Gotta watch out for this. There we go. I don't know how the hell is this. Is this like some sort of tree or something? Because I have no clue how it would be on fire. And, like, the whole tree wouldn't burn down. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, that's how you do that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. We could do... Oh, can we roar? How do we roar? Oh, I, I thought you could roar or something like that. I guess that was an earlier thing. Okay, let's... There we go. Wait for the fire. All right. Let's collect some coins too as well. Might as well. 
Damn, is there a lot of fire on this tree? Surprised it hasn't burned down or something. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me climb up a little bit. Let's wait for the fire again. There we go. Okay, so we're actually not dying this time. That's something new. Oh, my battery needs to be charged again. Okay. I should have did that last time, but I didn't. Okay, let's change this over here. We're going to loosen the valve on the tree. There we go. Alright, guys. Holy shit, that's a lot of fire. Almost caught Bob's ass on fire. <laughs> okay, there. Smash this. Let's wait one more time. There we go. And yeah, when you guys are playing this in Europe, like if you guys don't have the game yet, and you're just watching me doing a Let's Play, um... Bob is probably one of the easiest characters to play as because his control is really easy to like move around and stuff so just something to point out real quick and we got the last one unlocked too so we're gonna oh my god oh my god he almost got killed shit Murray you alright? Damn. Why? We've got another problem. Okay. We needed Murray to cover that control panel, but he's gone. If that guard resets the system, not only will this mission be a failure, but we'll be sitting duck. Damn. Okay, so let's make our way over there. Use your pouch to reach that platform and take out the guard. Okay, so it looks like. Wait, how do I do this again? Oh, there we go. I forgot how to use that because it's been like a few episodes since I used a suit. <clears throat> but there we go. Alright. Let me get out of my suit and open up this lever here. Okay, there we go. Let me wait for another uh, hook to latch onto. Let's wait. And there's one. Oh, God damn it! I didn't jump. Let's redo this. There we go, finally. Nice. Okay, now I can use my paraglider to get over there. Okay, guys, so we're going to make our way to the foreman. Alright, so this is really cool. Just like Sly 2 in a way. Hopefully I don't get hit by these things. I probably will. Oh god, we're lucky. Oh, there's a mask. I saw a mask here. There it is. Yes, okay, so we have 10 out of 60. We're really far off, but at least we have some. At least it's something. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to kill this bastard here. Oh, do I have to just hit him like this? Ow. Bastard. There we go. Guy kept hitting me. <laughs> Not bad. A little sloppy though, don't you think? Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take <laughs> it. Oh, Sly. Way to hustle, Sly. Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. All right. Man, I knew I should have made that left turn. <laughs> it's gonna be nice, like sugar and spice, when I put that Cooper gang on ice. Oh God. Is, no way I'm letting this chump get away. Bombs away! <laughs> Two big guys fighting it out. Got a beef with you, punk. Murray, we have to help him. Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap. What have we here? 
It's a pink nightmare. <laughs> Trust me. God, I can't now. stand that rhyming. You ain't dreaming. I'm tired of you, Cooper Chunks. The paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's <laughs> No, 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 no. It ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassle, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. Oh, poor Grizz. And now, you Cooper Punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. <laughs> you better check the script, fat man, because the Grizz is about to show you how to skate. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. This won't take a bit. Oh, my God. The Grizz is a badass. He's my favorite boss so far, I think, guys. Oh, my God. No way you catching the deep breath. Ow, you bitch. How am I supposed to hit this guy? Ow! God, he keeps killing me. Oh, shit. God damn, I'm gonna freaking die here. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, I can hit him like this? Oh, that's weird. Alright, come on, guys. Let's do this. There we go, got some health too. Alright, let's get this ice block. Yes, okay. There we go. What the hell? Try. You think you can skate with this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. Alright, let's see. Circle, triangle. Yes. There we go. All right, come on, guys. Let's do this. <clears throat> awesome. God damn, this is the weirdest boss battle ever. Okay, circle, triangle, and square. Let's see if you can match these moves, You can't do what I do. You try and keep up, big stuff. You think you can skate to this? You can't do what I do. What do we have to do here? Is this just a dance off? <laughs> I don't really don't understand this. Well, we got it right, so. Okay, circle. Axe. How long is this gonna go on for? There we go. Alright, let's beat the shit out of him now. There we go. Oh, he's pretty pissed. Gotta be very careful here. Ow. Of course he does that. God, stop fucking hitting me. Oh god, this guy is freaking fast. <laughs> I love how he's just laughing over there. Freaking crazy guy. Ow. God, do I fucking suck at this boss battle. Alright, gotta dodge all this shit. Alright, so that worked out. Oh my god, how did I get hit? This is kind of like Crash Bandicoot warped. The boss battle with that dingo dial. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die here. Ow, damn, that gotta hurt. Oh shit, icicles falling. 
Alright, so we only got one more left, guys. Let's go do this. Oh, God. What the hell is this? <clears throat> oh, did I not get in in time or something? Oh, I got killed, of course. Man, is this a hard boss battle. It's not hard. It's just trying to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. Gotta dodge him. He's like running all over the place on the ice. Or skating all over the place. Alright, let's try to get this this time too. Oh shit, ice school's falling. Be very careful here. Oh crap. <laughs> God damn this guy. Okay, so now's our chance. Ow, you bitch. Yes, we got him. Oh my god, Murray doesn't jump fast enough because he's a fat ass. Did we do it? Yes, we got him. Come on, guys, let's do this. Holy shit. Okay, so square, triangle, and circle. Square, triangle, circle. There we go. X, triangle, and square. <clears throat> Alright, X, triangle, circle, X, triangle, circle. X, triangle, and circle. Perfect. That's what I was doing wrong the first time. I'm just such an idiot. Let's beat the crap out of him. There we go. Looks like he's halfway over halfway dead. Ow, that hurt like hell. God damn, this guy's charging like crazy. Freaking ice cubes all over the place, too. Oh my god, of course I'd walk into it. Oh man. There we go. What the fuck, man? I can't jump over that? Please let this be the final stage. Here we go. So I've been dodging him pretty well here. There we go, finally. Oh, you bitch. Okay, so now he's gonna do his little... He's gonna knock down this thing. Okay, gotta run here. Ow. Well, at least that gave me some health. Oh, that's bullshit. That did not hit me. Alright, at least I'm getting health. There we go. Yes, okay. Let's do this, guys. 40 minutes into the recording. God damn, this is long here. Circle, circle, X. Circle, circle, X. Okay. Alright, here we go. Triangle, circle, and square. Let's do this. Triangle, circle. Square. Pretty simple boss battle, too, guys. X, circle, square. Okay, guys, this looks like it might be the final stage here. So let's see if we got him, finally. Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> awesome. Trophy, guys, got the bearsicle. <laughs> Pretty awesome trophy. Thanks, guys. 
I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries? Pizza? Anything? <laughs> An apple, even. All right, everyone. So we got this episode complete. Here we go. Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. Oh God! I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off. Whatever that meant. <laughs> he pointed us to our next destination, medieval England. Oh, yes. And as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So, although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. Nice. Medieval, medieval England, here we come, guys. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be our next episode. And we finished the Arctic Tundra level, which was really awesome. I love that level so much. Okay, so let's see what this is going to be here. With this upcoming cutscene. And this episode is going to be really long. I apologize <laughs> how long this episode is going to be, really. Um, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I think I, you guys will all love this episode because I definitely did. It was really fun to record. Okay, guys, so let's watch this next cutscene here. We'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper. Awesome. A gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. Oh, man. The villainous stench of Le Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. <laughs> Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down... He was pretty worried. Ah, uh, poor Penelope. Hopefully we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. Alright everyone, Sly Cooper and the gang in. I think this is called Of Mice and Max. Oh my god, I can't wait to play this level. <laughs> it looks like the Iron Giant from that cartoon from the 40s or whatever. <laughs> but ever, anyway guys, um, next time we are going to be starting a new episode. Or a new... um level i should say which is called of mice and mechs of course in medieval england but anyways guys i hope you love this 40 minute episode and spasiba and dos vidania i will see you all next time and don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest sly cooper these in time gameplay and commentaries see you all next time